Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot, and today I'll be talking about another important Android 11 ROM. Now, um, I've moved from Android 10 to Android 11, so I've not done ROM videos for a while now. So, um, so get ready. I'm gonna do a few, test a few ROMs out. The ones that I use, I'm not gonna be testing out every Android 11 ROM. So right now, I'm gonna take you into Nezuko ROM. I've used it for over two weeks. And that's the one I'm going to be doing ROM review now. The one I've used, and I'll tell you the bugs, the things that is happening, and um, whether it's good for your daily driver, or whether you just you know have to wait for some more updates. But for now, Android 11 for Realme S2, there are many good stable daily drivers out there that you can use. So if you're ready, um, let's just go check this out. Straight from the boot up, the Nezuko ROM really, really caught my eyes with this beautiful <laughs> boot up animation. And then it's my first time of hearing about it, but uh, it's just so beautiful. The animated wallpaper, the speed of unlocking, even from the first boot up, is just very fast. And talking about fast, the fingerprint unlocking is freaking fast. And not just that, the UI experience, the scrolling, the, you know, opening app, switching app, everything was just smooth AF. It's just so smooth. Um, I just give it up to this one. Way better than some of Android 10 ROMs that I've used. So let's look in the round and see the ambient display lock screen unlock is quite fast there you can actually you know mark notification as red from the ambient display notification from there also you can swipe off notification for the screen to go off you can double tap the screen for it to wake up without any stress the press the home button for ok google call help call up works very very fine and there is no problem with that i'm going to share the box later in but let's just go in here there is nezuko extras uh, where you can check out the settings it has so much customization maybe not as uh code rr and all this thing but it have some useful features like this nezuko health and then even the teaming for Nezuko it has so much about teaming. I don't use teaming so much, but there is so many options that you can, you know, tweak and team your phone here. And there is still that Realme setting where you can put on the game mode and, you know, go into the system. There is still much, much more settings. So this guy is good. Performance customization is just all good. So when it comes to phone calls, it uses the Google dialer and um, the rest recording doesn't work uh, because there are a whole lot of things I'll explain later when I talk about the few bugs that are not deal breakers you know I used it even without noticing any of them so um, the Google uh, call data is just fast it's quick and it has the normal Google data features that we know uh, talking about battery life now I was impressed not just by the performance but also the battery life now this did way better than Colt that I used last on Android 10 and at some point I just stopped you know checking the battery life because once I charge in the morning even on heavy use or other stuff it will take me back to the evening and I'll probably carry over to the next day so let's look at the Antutu benchmarks uh, it came up with a respectable Antutu score I mean this is quite respectable and it didn't do bad on Jig Bench also it didn't do bad at all on jig bench so but the beauty thing is that when i use it to edit video even on 4k it is quite smooth so let's go into some of the features here uh, for by default device is certified in google play store now google pay worked well when i didn't root but with truth instead of showing the warning uh, so if you want to enjoy google pay do not root do not flash magisk because uh, the ctl profile file unfortunately they didn't pass for my device which is like the eu version i haven't confirmed what i worked for orders 
So let's talk about the bugs here. So the main bug comes from the Google data when call is coming in. Uh, the developer told me we'll just fix it in the next one. It's almost ready to fix just within the next update. So if you dial a call right now when the screen is off, you see now on the top screen that the call has come in, phone is vibrating or ringing, but you can't see anything till you press the power button. First it goes off, press the power button again, then it comes up, then you will see the person that is kind of calling you it doesn't happen all the time so but whenever it happens i just press it up you know it looks fun sometimes you know <laughs> when someone's calling you your whole screen will be off so somebody can peep in you know it could be fun but the developer just assured me that he has found the fix and in the next update which will just come in a week time or less uh, from this video or might have even come out when you're watching this video i put the link in the description for you to check out where there is updates i will also you know put that in the comment section so let's move out to the second bug which is not just a bug the screen rotate can actually rotate upside down uh, sometimes it's not funny but you can turn off rotation if you really really want that to get out of your way So the next one I noticed is how to actually make a screen recorder to record internal audio uh, because I recorded the game at the end and I didn't know internal audio didn't record so I learned this the hard way. So you go to look for the recorder. The recorder is always using the microphone so you go to the app information of the recorder, you just clear catch, clear that if you can just force it to stop and then once you do that any other app or screen recorder can use the microphone so we're gonna go to gameplay and you know as we do it um uh, Remy didn't unlock the full settings for uh, you know Remy x2 so we use that um the gfx2 to, to unlock the high settings and then we go in to do the gameplay so this is going to be around the end i'm going to leave you to go in see my setting i'm going to use smooth and ultra uh this uh, uh pop g uh 1.3.0 <laughs> so uh that'll be it uh, i'm going to leave you with the gameplay and then show you how some oh i like doing this <laughs> So that's uh, how smooth. Now let me give you a feel of how smooth this this uh, ROM is while you're using it. And this is on a very high setting. Uh, everything we just maxed out. So it is absolutely, absolutely smooth. And and it's not just the smoothness that really really impressed me in this ROM. It's also about how I played this game for almost one hour, and the, and the phone wasn't even like all that noticeably warm. You know, it was just like as cool as you like as I was playing the game. So that is quite an impressive thing. Yup, come on, get that kill. <laughs> So uh, I didn't know that the internal audio didn't record. I already show you how you can do that. You have to clear um, the recorder for it to stop using the microphone so that any other app you want to use can use the microphone. So let me know any other game you want me to play in the next ROM review. I'll be doing it for like from two to two weeks. I'm going to try a new Android 11 ROM. You can also suggest in the in the comment section, subscribe, like, and let me know the ROM you want me to re review after this because the next one will be Shift Shift OS. I'm going to flash that after this one and then I'm going to review it as after two weeks of use. So um, I will just leave you to enjoy the remaining part of the game and um, uh, let me hear from you. I'll speak to you at the end and let me hear from you. Okay, that will be about that. I hope you enjoyed this. 
and um, let me know in the comment section what you want the game you want me to try next the ROMs you want me to try next uh, this is for Remi X2 so if you like this video please click on that subscribe button if you watched at this point please don't forget to do that like subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon if you like this video for more and I'll see you next one peace subscribe I'll see you